So check this out. With this new frame gen mod, we can take Hogwarts Legacy from getting around 40 FPS to getting around 70 FPS. And even better, the mod is super easy to enable and I'll show you how in this video. We're not going to get super technical on this one, but the premise of the mod is that we're going to be enabling the use of FSR 3.1 with frame gen. But as far as the game is concerned, it's going to look like we're using NVIDIA DLSS with frame gen, but we're not. We're using FSR 3.1. If that sounds weird or confusing, don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing in a second. And if you appreciate this guide, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Human to human, it really makes a difference in my life. All right, so first we're going to install Deki, which is a plugin launcher, and then we're going to install the Frame Gen plugin. If you already have Deki installed, feel free to skip this next part. And how we're going to install Deki is we're going to hit the Steam button, then we're going to go to Power, and then switch to Desktop, and that'll get us into the Linux Desktop view. And once you're in desktop, what you're going to do is go to Firefox or some sort of browser. It doesn't matter what browser you have. Chrome works great. And all we're going to do is type in and the shortcut to pull up a keyboard is if you do Steam and X at the same time, you'll pull up a keyboard and we're going to do Decky Loader. So we'll pull up Decky Loader and it's going to be this top one, which is the GitHub um, and it's Steam Deck Homebrew Decky Loader. And this is the plugin that we're going to get. So once you're here, you're going to scroll down until you find the download button. And here's download. You'll just click download. And it's going to go into your downloads folder. Uh, if you have Chrome, it might look a little different, but it'll be the same thing. Click the folder icon. We can minimize our browser. And this is the file right here. This is the Decky installer. And what you're going to want to do is move it onto your desktop. So I'm just going to go like this and do click and drag and move it onto my desktop. And I'll say move here. And then I can close out of this file browser. I don't need it anymore. Now I can double click to start the install. It says, do you want to install Decky? Continue. And if you have a password on your Steam Deck, it'll ask for your admin password right here. If you don't, it's not going to ask you this. So don't worry about it if it doesn't ask you. All right, once you enter your password, uh, it's going to ask you this question, and I would do update to the latest release. That's recommended. That's what it'll default to, and I would recommend doing that. Now it's going to download that update and install, and it should be pretty quick. All right, so that's done. So now we can go back into gaming mode, just right here. Turn to gaming mode. And now that we're back in gaming mode, we're going to have a new option available to us, which is that if we hit the three dots here, you'll notice there's now a plug down here that wasn't there before, and this is Decky. Now that we have Decky, we're going to go download the Frame Gen plugin. If we go to any browser and we can just Google, we're just gonna Google Decky Frame Gen, and the keyboard shortcut again to pop up the keyboard is Steam and X. So we'll do Decky Frame Gen. And the one we're gonna be looking for is called Jason Durillo. This one right here. So we'll go to that. And this is the latest one. You can see 0.4.2. And we will get this file. We're gonna download this file right here, which is deckyframegen.zip. And once it's downloaded, it's in our downloads right there. We saw it finished. We are good to go. So I'm gonna minimize that. And we're just going to go back into gaming mode. Okay, so now that we have Decky and FrameGen installed, we're gonna go hit the three dots right here. And this is Decky, this new plugin icon. If you had Decky before, you're familiar with it. If you didn't, this is new. And what we're going to do is go into the settings of Decky by hitting that gear. And we'll scroll down until we get to developer mode. We have to toggle this on in order for frame gen to work because we gotta be doing a little bit of tweaking here. Don't worry, we're almost done and it's not very complicated. Now we have to install the frame gen and we're going to do that by going to developer. And then we're going to install plugin from zip file. We'll hit browse. And now we're going to go find that download of frame gen that we just downloaded on our desktop, which is right here, Decky frame gen. Says, are you sure you wanna install it? Say install. And there we go. Now it, you can see with our three dots, it pulled up Decky frame gen. This is new, so we can click on that. And it says mod not installed. That's only the first time you open it. What you're going to do is hit install FG mod. It's going to install. We'll give it a sec. So now one thing that's a little bit unfortunate is you still have to go in and enable the mod per game. So you're gonna scroll down and find the game that you want to use this mod on. So let's test this out on Hogwarts Legacy. And before we go to the game, we actually have to patch it, which by that we hit this button, then Decky Frame Gen. Then we're gonna scroll down until we find Hogwarts. 
legacy. And there it is. And all we're going to do is hit patch. Now it's done. It says launch option set successfully for Hogwarts Legacy. You can now use DLSS in games menu to use FSR upscaling. Sweet. So now we'll go find Hogwarts Legacy. And just to double check that it's actually working, if we hit the settings and we go to properties and scroll down, you can see in the launch options, we are looking at FG mod, which is our frame gen mod. So that means good, it's, it should be working. So we can just hit play. So this is with frame gen off. We have not enabled the mod yet. And you can see we're getting 30 FPS, maybe 40 FPS. We'll just run around here. 30, 40, 20, somewhere in there, right? Now, if we go uh, hit start, go down into settings. And now if we go over to display right here, or sorry, this one right here, then we're going to change this from uh, AMD FSR 2.0 to DLSS, which DLSS is actually FSR 3.1. That's what we're doing. And now that we're using FSR 3.1, we can enable frame gen. And if we hit this, we see the frame gen on and that's it. We're good to go. So now if we go back in where we were getting frame rates of 30 and 40 ish, if we let it load up, now you can see we're getting frame rates of more like 70 ish. It should be not quite double, but getting pretty close to double. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Look at that. We got free frames. As far as input lag goes, there is more input lag for sure. I haven't done formalized testing, but what I would say is if you're playing a game where like it's a twitchy shooter and you really care about input lag, I wouldn't use this. I, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're playing a game where input lag doesn't matter so much, a game that's maybe more about the visuals, like a game like Hogwarts Legacy, then this is the type of situation where I think the frame gen is awesome, where you can get higher frame rates. Yes, you do have slightly more input lag, but it's still not that bad, especially on a story driven game like this. And again, I just want to be really clear about this. We are not actually using NVIDIA's DLSS. I know it looks like we're using NVIDIA DLSS, but we're not. All we've really done is hijack that little UI element where it says NVIDIA DLSS, and we're changing that to FSR 3.1. That's what the mod is doing. And in FSR 3.1, we get frame gen. So that's what's going on. Hopefully that makes sense. It's not NVIDIA DLSS. It is FSR 3.1. I want to give a huge shout out to Jason Dorello and whoever else was a part of making this mod. Thank you so much for making this for the community. This is the reason, or at least one of the big reasons why I love the Steam Deck so much is because the community comes together and does some really cool shit and allows the Steam Deck to surpass what its hardware should allow. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them. And thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all being here. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.